Okay. Now here's the uh, serious face in uh, Grand Falls area. You can see that. Like some say it's Jesus or whatever. But look at this. Now this just happens to be together. I'm open this up. I think this is this guy here. Now something interesting just happened along the uh, Muniac Maniac Ward, as I prefer to say, Maine, New Brunswick. Um, they, they put a bunch of towers, radio towers, to uh, broadcast a signal along the border between Maine and uh, New Brunswick. Now those, I'm wondering if those uh, radio towers along the border has drawn in the spirit of John Quincy Adams, as you can see, down to earth level. Seems to me why it might be down there in terms of parity between the Canadians and the Americans. It's a representation of parity. Perhaps it's a representation of true American patriotism, um, in which Maine and uh, New Brunswick are not necessarily a separate entity at all. So many connections in terms of the New Brunswick camp made by the French down to the uh, the, the camp made by uh, um, the frontiersmen in our country, namely the founding fathers, such as George Washington. Not only did he forget to separate the males from the females, he was pissed about it in his diaries. He might have been uh, well, whiskey distillery known to have his teeth black from drinking so much port, so might have been too drunk at that time. But at any rate, maybe he's saying, you know, why don't we, sh why don't we get some hemp out of uh, New Brunswick down to here legitimately? Who knows? Hey, hey, John.